Have you ever gazed at the night sky and wondered if we are alone in the universe? This cosmic question has stirred the human spirit for centuries, prompting us to reach for the stars, literally. We've sent probes to the farthest corners of our solar system and peered into the distant realms of space in our quest to find extraterrestrial life. And in this grand journey, we've stumbled upon intriguing worlds, distant yet strangely familiar, like the exoplanet Trappist 1 CE. In the depths of space, roughly 40 light years from Earth, a red dwarf star named Trappist 1 holds a fascinating secret. One of the most captivating discoveries in recent years is the Trappist 1 system, a compact family of seven planets swirling around their parent star. Among the celestial septuplet, the second planet, known as Trappist 1c, has sparked particular interest. This intriguing exoplanet is a cosmic chameleon of sorts, bearing striking similarities to our own familiar neighbors. It's roughly the size of Venus, and akin to Earth, it boasts a primarily rocky composition. Orbiting its host star at a mere distance of about one and a half million miles, Trappist 1c completes one full circuit in just 2.42 Earth days. Now you might be thinking, that's awfully close. And you'd be right. But remember, Trappist 1 is a red dwarf star, much cooler and less luminous than our sun. So, despite its close proximity, Trappist 1c maintains a dayside temperature of about 225 degrees Fahrenheit making it the coolest rocky planet ever characterized using this method. But what sets Trappist-1c apart from the rest is not just its rocky terrain or its brisk temperature, it's the enigma that shrouds it. The James Webb Space Telescope suggests that this exoplanet may have either a bare rocky surface or a very thin carbon dioxide atmosphere. But what makes Trappist-1c truly intriguing is the mystery of its atmosphere. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has taken a closer look at TRAPPIST-1c, revealing surprising details about this distant world. This exoplanet, orbiting a red dwarf star approximately 40 light years from our planet, is the coolest rocky planet ever characterized by this method, with a dayside temperature of about 225 degrees Fahrenheit. TRAPPIST-1c is roughly the same size and mass as Venus, and receives the same amount of radiation from its star. But here comes the twist in the tale. The planet's atmosphere is not akin to Venus's thick carbon dioxide atmosphere. This finding is a bit of a letdown for those who were hoping that the TRAPPIST-1 system would be a true analog to our own. The absence of a similar atmosphere suggests that TRAPPIST-1c may have formed with very little water. This raises questions about the formation of the planet and perhaps the system as a whole. It's a new chapter in our quest to determine whether planetary atmospheres can withstand the violent environs of a red dwarf star. TRAPPIST-1c, the second of seven known planets in the TRAPPIST-1 system, completes one circuit around its star in just 2.42 Earth days. This planet is slightly larger than Earth, but has roughly the same density, indicating its rocky composition. Webb's measurement of 15 micron mid-infrared light emitted by TRAPPIST-1c suggests that the planet has either a bare rocky surface or a very thin carbon dioxide atmosphere. This is another step in determining whether planets orbiting small red dwarfs like TRAPPIST-1 can sustain atmospheres necessary to support life as we know it. TRAPPIST-1c is interesting because it's basically a Venus twin. It's about the same size as Venus and receives a similar amount of radiation from its host star as Venus gets from the Sun. This revelation raises intriguing questions about the potential for life in the TRAPPIST-1 system. The unique atmosphere of TRAPPIST-1c may change how we think about the possibility of life on other planets. This exoplanet, orbiting a red dwarf star 40 light years away, has thrown us a curveball. You see, while it's roughly the same size and mass as Venus, it doesn't appear to have the same thick carbon dioxide atmosphere. This suggests that TRAPPIST-1c, and potentially its entire system, may have formed with very little water. What does this mean for the search for life? Well, it's a reminder of the vast diversity of exoplanets out there. Not all will mirror the conditions we see in our solar system. It also gives us valuable information about atmospheres on planets orbiting red dwarf stars, the most common type of star in our galaxy. So while the results may be a little disappointing for some, they're incredibly exciting for scientists. As we continue to explore the cosmos, Worlds like TRAPPIST-1c remind us of the infinite possibilities that await us in the stars.